It's surprisingly easy to get ahead of 99% of software engineers, but the window is closing and you realistically have about one year to change your playbook before the game is over for good. So in this video, I'll give you the exact three-step framework to make that shift starting today. And I know this framework works because not only did I do it for myself to go from a Fortune 500 developer to a founder, but I've also helped hundreds of other software engineers to the exact same thing. But before we get into it, you first have to understand why the game you're playing right now as a software engineer is already broken. You see, a few years ago, the secret sauce was communication. Employers were ranking communication ahead of raw technicals, about 73% versus 67. While everybody else was grinding lead code, the top performers in software engineering were learning to connect code to business outcomes. And it was estimated that the teams who were doing this grew about five times faster. But today, communication is deemed as the baseline. Since 2016, required skills have already churned by around 32%. And by 2030, 39% of workers' core skills are expected to change. On top of that, today's market has been completely rewritten by two forces that you can't even control, commoditization and competition. AI is already automating 30 to 50% of basic coding tasks, turning your technical skills into a commodity. And globalization means that you're competing with thousands of global applicants for every single remote job. And with cross-border hiring is up around 42% year over year, turning your salary into a race straight to the bottom. So the real reason that most developers can't break into the top one percentile isn't because they lack technical or communication skills. It's because they are trying to compete. They're trying to be the best triangle, fighting over the same triangle shaped hole, but the game is no longer about being the best shape for the box. You see, the game is now all about building your own box. But how do you actually go about doing that? How do you do that when the entire corporate and freelance market is designed to make you compete against other software engineers? You're measured against other engineers on performance reviews. You're ranked by your years of experience when you're trying to get a job and you're forced to bid against others on price. So the system traps you in what I call the red ocean, which is essentially a market full of sharks fighting over the same scraps. It's exhausting, it caps your income, and it makes you feel replaceable because in a red ocean, you actually are replaceable. So even if you have a great high paying job, you are still operating within a system that limits your freedom and your potential. And this is the source of that feeling of being a caged overachiever, where you're a high performer trapped in a very small cage. But what if you could leave that red ocean behind and create your own blue ocean, a market with no competition to you whatsoever? Well, that is the secret. You see, the software engineers who are truly winning aren't necessarily the best. They're the only. They have become what I call category creators. And you can too by following these three exact steps. So step number one, you need to identify what I call your unique advantage. A category creator doesn't try to be the best software engineer. They create a new category by combining their unique skills and interests. So your unique advantage is the intersection of your network, your location, and the technical skills combined with your knowledge and passions. It's sort of like your unique shape if we were referring to the box analogy. So are you maybe a software engineer who also understands logistics for e-commerce companies? Are you maybe a backend dev who is also an expert in trading golden retrievers, right? Something interesting like that. But that's your starting point. So what you need to do is list everybody in your network, what exactly they do and how they can be of service to you. List everything in your location, businesses, events, any specific business groups, meetups, chamber of commerce, business network, international groups, and then list your core technical skills. Then list everything else you know deeply hobbies, past jobs, any strange obsessions. So the magic really lies in the overlap of all these three things. A subscriber of mine actually combined his experience in AI with his passion for local farming to create a completely new category, AI powered crop yield prediction for small organic farms. And he literally has almost zero competition down here in Southern California. So this is the foundation of high leverage and non-linear success. Now, for step number two, you need to define a micro problem. Because once you have your unique advantage, you need to find the small, painful, and expensive problem that only somebody with your specific skill set can solve. And this is the primary blocker where the most ambitious software engineers get stuck. They don't know what problem to solve. 
So for that, you need to go talk to people in your niche. That developer passionate about local farming didn't just build an app instantly. He spent about a month visiting farms and asking one question. What's the most frustrating, time-consuming part of your job? And only then did he discover that they were terrible at predicting harvest yields, which was leading to massive waste. And that became his validated, expensive micro problem. So a micro problem gives you a clear direction and allows you to sidestep the competition because you're not just building another SaaS tool anymore. You're now building a definitive solution for a very specific group of people with a very specific pain point. And this focus is what really allows a solo operator to create massive value without needing a huge team or some crazy VC funding. And last but not least, step three. What you need to do is build minimum viable authority. So before you write a single line of code for any type of product, you must do two things. First, sell before you build. And second, become the number one authority on the micro problem that you have chosen. So the goal is to create sort of like a gravity well that pulls the ideal clients towards you. This can be done through many means, starting a newsletter, a YouTube channel, a blog, whatever the case. Choose the medium that most of your ideal customers use and share everything that you're learning about the problem there. So the farmer focused dev simply started a newsletter. He shared weekly insights on how small farms could reduce waste. And within three months, he had farmers reaching out to him, asking to pay him for his help specifically. And he had clients before he even had a SaaS built at all. So he was using his consulting hours to help these farmers. So authority is the ultimate form of leverage. When you are the recognized expert in whatever category it is that you created, you do not have to sell in a traditional sense because people will come to you and they will be more than happy to buy from you. So this flips the power dynamic entirely on its head. You stop applying for jobs and you start creating opportunities for yourself. So let's be honest here. The old playbook is broken as you know it, and it's only gonna get worse as time goes on. Grinding to be the best coder in a saturated market is simply a race to the bottom, and the future doesn't even belong to the best competitor anymore, now that you have AI on top. It really belongs to the category creator. And you don't get ahead by playing the same old game harder. You get ahead by creating a completely new game where you are the only player playing against yourself. Now, the most critical part of this entire strategy is finding that initial micro problem to solve. This is the single biggest bottleneck, the single biggest challenge that paralyzes most software engineers. But I've built a complete system to overcome it. In fact, to help you, I've put together a free step-by-step 55-page -step playbook that walks you through my entire process to ideate, validate and land your very first paying client as a software engineer. It's the exact framework that I wish I had when I started and it's the exact framework that has helped countless other software engineers get results. And you can get it instantly when you sign up for my weekly newsletter using the first link in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching and remember, stop trying to fit in the box and start building your own.